Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for iOS, where today we've got a couple birds to bring down. But I've got a little preparation to do before that. Need to get these potions back. Gonna want some of these antidotes. Let's just bring six. And then... Is there anything else I want? I really wish this game grayed out what items you were already full on. That would be nice. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. There's the quest. So off we go to hunt some birds. Had some wine and cheese for my meal. It's a great combination as usual. Okay. Is the dragon seer here? It sure isn't. That's okay, we can go looking for one. And as soon as we find one, we will fight it to the death, and then we'll Psycho Serum to find the second one. Aha! We found the purple one. Oh yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Okay. Thankfully, Mini Whetstone is not the worst thing it could have grabbed. And there goes its flasher. It's nice having that broken so soon. It means every time it tries to flash, we just get free hits. Or, you know, free misses. Either way, though. Wow, we bounce off its legs. That's mildly bothersome. And we were just hit by the air around the tip of its tail. only the second subspecies I've fought in this game. The other being the blue Kaku. Kind of hoping to hit the face, but whatever. I don't know that I trust this. Oh. No, it's actually dead. Okay. That's nice. Ooh, and I hear flapping. We get to save a Psycho Serum. I've always wanted a purr rubbery hide. The way this game abbreviates item names. Kind of silly. If only I could get this thing to taunt like a kutku. There's the 
boots. Best to get ahead of the poison rather than let it sit for a while. Well, at least we can get out of the stun quickly. Might actually be about as fast to shake out of it than to just dodge it. About as fast than, I believe I said. About as fast as it is. Okay. Give me your face, bird. Eh. Just a leg flinch, but I'll take it. I need to not get my camera against walls, like, ever. Because the way it zooms in really restricts your field of view, which is less than stellar. Dang it. Yes, go for the cat. I'm glad you don't spit very far. Kinda wish I could break your flashy thing as fast as I broke your cousins. That's one step in the right direction. Surprising launch for that bite. Oh. Well, at least it didn't steal anything else. And it put my weapon away for me. Um, bird? Oh, you're leaving, huh? That makes sense. Or you're not leaving, you're just kind of flapping around like an idiot. Damn. You better not do that again. Like, if you're going, then go. Okay, it's going. So it looks like it's heading up here. Or it's just going on through. Music, you can stop it left. Okay, hopefully we'll get to kill it on this beach. Too far, bird. Could have sworn my hammer went right through its face, but yet the hit was on the foot. And that time the hit was on the nothing. And all three of those hits were on the nothing. So, the music keeps playing when it's playing dead? That seems like not the greatest strategy. Also, it's not hittable while it's playing dead. That saddens me. I'm gonna grab this sparkly. Please let it be a tear. Yay! Oh, why, why thank you, Velocipre. Thank you for your amazing contribution. Where is this thing even going? Okay, it's going in there. Is it staying there? No, it's going on through. 
but I think I'm still going to get there to where it's going faster this way. Yeah, definitely faster this way. Hey, Gypsaros. Interesting how you only got enraged when you were already almost dead. If that doesn't show you that monsters don't rage as much in this game as they do in the more modern games, I don't know what does. Though that might just be because this is low rank. Maybe it's different in high rank. I don't really remember. I really want to break the flashy thing. But in order to break the flashy thing, I need to actually be able to hit the face, which is a little troublesome considering it's kind of high up-ish. Also, the bird keeps moving it around. But it's like, it's slightly too high for a super pound to hit most of the time. And that last peck, without that, I would have gotten my hit. Instead, I took a hit. Which, of course, is not what I would have wanted. Well, now I can hit the face to my heart's content. But did not break the flashy thing. And I guess one hit really isn't my heart's content. My heart's content would have been breaking the flashy thing and then killing it. Alright. Well, those were a couple birds. I should go mining. Because if I want to do the upgrade to this hammer that looks best to me, I'm going to need 99 iron, which is decidedly more than I have. But that was just whetstones, and that is not iron. Just looking off into the abyss, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't stare back into me too much. Couple light crystals, that's nice. And some iron from the flashy that I broke. While not the thing you want to get from Flashy, I did just talk about how I need iron, so... Yeah. And now I've got enough points to get the uh, next level of the beehive. Which is nice, because more honey is good. I like more honey. I want more honey. Yes. What's your deal? Eh, two stars, but... Meh. Stay in your barrel. Well, that is not going to be it for this episode yet. I need to see whether or not that unlocked the urgent. It did! What is it? Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Both of them? Like, both of them? I haven't seen even one yet. Shouldn't I have, like, fought a Rathian by now? I feel like I probably should have. Wow, a Lunastra? Hot dang. Why can I fight a Kushaladaura and a Lunastra before a Rathalos in this game? That seems wrong. It seems very wrong. Yeah, there's... There's no Raths. 
Why are there no wraths? It's really awkward that I haven't been able to fight even one wrath yet. And then they throw two at me together. Well, whatever. I guess that's what we're doing next time, so join us next time for a pair of wraths, I guess. See you then, friends.